Oh no! I guess that's one way of putting it. Find the helmets. That's interesting. So this is, you actually search for crowns. And for buckets. But you also have... Okay, so there are 20 helmets, but you also have something you telling you where each helmet is. What what is my arrow doing? This is really weird. Okay, so you need to get up there somehow. Okay, so it's mostly just that okay, so my arrow is freaking out because there are a bunch of them. You get lots of crowns for each of these actually. But you need to get Oh, but there are only 20 helmets, aren't there? And you need to pay 20... I mean, 200... crowns to get here. So, you actually lose if you... lose crowns if you don't complete the whole thing. Which I guess is kind of the idea, so maybe it is once I get to, two, to uh, 75 crowns on that one... Goofy Goober thing that it actually ends and gives me a payout. I'm not sure. Oh, well, it makes sense, because the idea is punish you if you don't complete the thing by making you lose on your investment. But reward you as soon as you actually manage to win that back. So that's what it seems like you're doing in this game. Does give you a time bonus if you manage to pick them all up. Oh, man. It's actually kind of fun, dramatic music. Ow. And this crazy taxi arrow does actually help quite a bit. It, weird, it gets weird. You're not very fast, but... Okay, so now this works. This works. That works! Oh my god. I can live with that. So we're set with that for a little while. So now we need to go to the trench. Which is actually quite nearby. So that's the thing to do now. If you need more crowns, you can do that. Get jump bucket helmets. Trench, here we go. You can afford, and we got enough crowns for that one thing that we can afford anything. Here, we're finally somewhere new. I see that. Aha, see? We can perceive. Weird music. Huge. Now the game is actually getting interesting. Now that we've gone beyond all those annoying clicking things challenges. Yes. Wait. I just need to do a lap. I'm not escaping or anything. Okay, so where are... There is a crown. So I assume I don't want to fall. I also don't want to touch those. Oh, and that's a... They were used that sound from, uh... Oh, man, that's... That's really scary. That's really tight. Wow. Yeah, we'll have to get a lot of money back if we want want to get the launch we'll dragon after this, but So I'm assuming you don't want to fall though. How how'd I miss the freaking crown? Ah Okay, well like, I wanna actually do that. Now we need to get more crowns elsewhere. Thankfully, we can actually do that uh, off at home. So we have plans now. See, at least you can like devise a strategy for the grind fest that is like that is this game. 
I really want to fly into that. Please do it. Ah! I don't think you can get enough speed to do that either. Okay. So. Let's head home. Because I know I can get a lot of crowns that way. But I know I can also get even more crowns, way more crowns, from Mindy. In fact, I should just stock up tons of crowns doing that Chum Bucket Challenge. I think that's what I'll do. And I can just try anything as much as I want, essentially. Yes, I want to do this. Alright. Bonus crowns. I do like how the game actually specifically shows you that those crowns are there when Mr. Krabs is explaining the whole thing to you. I guess that's a super big bonus for anybody that... Okay, I missed those crowns. For anybody that pays attention to the instructions. Which is not all that common among this game's target audience. Interesting thing to expect of people. Let's see, I'm curious if there's some way I actually could go around here and gain. I need some number of extra pounds. Looks like I actually managed to find a pretty decent route for that when I think about it. Like a super, super scoring route. Looks like I found the thing to do. Shoo, look at that. Finishing with 30 cents to spare. Yeah, see, that's pretty good for this. Um, how much does that leave me with? Not enough for Mendy, I don't think. Yeah, I have 165 rounds. Let's do that again. Three, two, one, let's go for it. We're solidifying the strategy here. I don't think there are any more crowns to go straight here. It doesn't look like it. So you can't get corners either. That'll keep you from actually picking up the crowns that you want. And the crowns... I and mean, for the small amount of time you lose by actually you could pick up those crowns by doing more inefficient turns, you do actually get more time. So it's a net gain, but it's still a little annoying to do. Alright. So I have a little route worked out for this part now. So you jump over here. Looks like this is actually what they want you to do. So you jump over here. You wrap around. Do a little quick loop. You can go through here. And now we have... Our own little route. That leads directly to the bonus. Along the way we've picked up tons of crowns. And we have a giant time bonus. Wonderful. That time bonus, man. Now we can head off to... We have a good... We actually can enter the trench now if we so desire. But what I want to do... Is instead... Get tons and tons of crowns from the chum bucket. So I don't have to worry about this whole crown issue again. At least not as many. Because I got 300 and profit from this one last time. I'm guessing there's at least a slight randomization to where all the crowns appear in this one. Or to where all the uh, bucket pet, or, yeah, buckets appear. But that should cause any real issues. I don't have like a route for where to get these things or anything like that, but it doesn't seem like I have to be especially efficient, so I'm not too concerned. Oh, there's one. Yeah, that crown just really crown that. Can't. Ah. Arrow. Doesn't really know what to do if you're. if you have lots of crowns around you. Could be doing this a bit more efficiently, I'm pretty sure. But, let's see what I can get. Hopefully, I'll still get a huge bonus like I did last time. I imagine I would. It feels disproportionately easy compared to everything else we've been doing, though. I will say, 
in terms of my actual difficulty completing it, and, well, and the time completing it, for that matter, and the payout. It's kind of weird. There we go. The arrow just seems to not be able to decide which comment it wants to go towards that angle point. It's a little odd. Last one through here. There we go. So you get 200 plus whatever else. In this case, 300. I had something. I'll do it one more time just as insurance. Okay. Because we have a better idea of where they all are now, too, so that should help us do it quickly. I think. Hopefully it will. Just, I can actually do it myself. There are crowns in all these given locations. And as such, we can actually run through those locations and pick up crowns along the way. In order to save time and get a bunch of points. No, I think I missed that one. I totally did. Ah. Also, these are actually different locations than they were last time. Huh. Oh, are they? No, because I'm pretty sure I went up there last time, too. Never mind. I think I was in the same places. Alright. Well, that makes everything easier, then. Just need to be able to be consistent with getting all this stuff. Alright. So there's that one that you have to jump up to. And the bucket that leads up to it. So on the left. And not a much better time than last time, so that's seeming like, unfortunately. I'll take all I can get. Yep, yeah, I'll take it. Alright, so... Again, just as... Almost 300, just about. When you subtract how much you pay, but that's 900... Of these, so hopefully... So if this one falls through again, the uh, trench will just say whatever to it. And then you can go from there. You can just try out new levels after that. So it's 250, so is there one that costs 300? I don't remember finding one that costs that.